Devs, how are you guys doing? Um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Aching. If you are new here, you're very welcome. If you are a returning subby, you're also welcome. And it is good, good to have you back here again. Now, I am back with another video because, because I am very consistent <laughs> nowadays. Ebu ni pigeni makofi hapo. Ebu send those emoji claps down there, by the way. Ebu, no, on a serious note, imagine, uh -uh, on a serious note, you guys just clap for me because they have been consistent here. You, where? Ebu ni clap here ni hapo. Eish. Eh? Ay. Yeah. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please click the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so that each and every single time that I post, you get a notification and be amongst the first to come watch my videos. Sawa sawa. Now today I want to talk about the markets in Mtumba that I feel normally are not targeted that well or are ignored in Zikona Pesa. Those two markets. This is what I want to talk about today. Sawa sawa. Now, the first market that I feel guys tend to not do a lot or avoid a lot is the plus size market. Now, in a previous video, I told you guys there's a bill particularly for plus size dresses. There's a bill particularly for um plus size blouses there's a bill particularly for plus size jeans this market is not targeted now the funny thing is that most people tend to even when they open a bill and then they get like plus size tops they don't like it they're like oh no but i got a few plus size pieces and the fact is that we have kenyan plus size ladies and if you guys have noticed now is the plus size queens are out here giving us <laughs> life because they are looking good they are accepting themselves and they need to be dressed now that market is a market that guys are not really guys are avoiding it and i feel if you decide to come up and you're majoring on plus size only trust me you will nail it you will nail it as in if you just decide by the way me i'm pluses and pluses and pluses only i don't have things for clothes for small people because this is a market that has been ignored by the way you guys know this market has been ignored for years this guys struggle to find clothes i've had a few people that i have uh, sold to that are pluses and they're like okay 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 i've struggled to get pieces i can't believe you even have things that fit me yeah okay it's not a market that i've personally targeted but I have opened Canadian Bills and you guys know Canadian Bills normally has a few plus size dresses. So the first market that has really been ignored is the plus size market. Plus size. Okay. Now the second market that I feel has really been ignored is the teens. Teens. Between ages 9 through to 15, 16. Okay. Imagine. Don't, don't, don't try to correct me at 9 is not a teenager. <laughs> have you seen the kids of nowadays where 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 those where kwanza in fact that thing for sweet 13 is a teenager 14 15 no now we will be even starting 19 years old 9 9 teen this kid's mature too fast so yes that market of the the to teenagers to young girls evil you know that age group because most people tend to go to sl kids bill I mean the kids section so they just tend to focus on below age nine but who is targeting or who is tackling this market between age nine and ages 15 because you know those are kids that still are bought for clothes by their mothers and the you know um caregivers whatever so because after that now at 15 16 yeah 18 they tend to kujichagulia they choose for themselves but this car market over here is really really neglected and Gonna press her peer, gonna press her, gonna press her prayer, server, server. <laughs> okay, another area that I feel that guys are not targeting well, guys are targeting it, but not well, is the household. Now, I'll find someone who's opened a shop and they're selling bed sheets, okay, but I would appreciate if I found someone selling bed sheets, duvets towels bath and floor mats doormats you know curtains blinders as in this market guys are targeting it moja 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 but guys are not doing it all together and the beauty about doing it all together is that you're gonna sell because that will mean when someone enters your shop they won't miss a thing if i don't get a bed sheet, i'll get a duvet if i don't get a duvet i'll get a blinder if I don't, if I don't don't get a blinder i'll get bath and floor mats so i'm um, i've not seen or i'm not seeing guys like majoring on that okay um i'd say like personally um you guys know i target ladies but i target ladies 
as an all-rounded all rounded today you'll find me selling dresses tomorrow you'll find me, find me selling, selling t-shirts the other day you'll find me selling like um trousers the other day palazzo pants the other day denim blouses the other day i'm on denim, denim jackets the other day up as in i am everywhere i'm tackling this market completely okay so that's that's what i mean when i say also household i feel that guys have not targeted targeted it quite well okay Another area that I feel that um, it's a sector that guys haven't done it a lot. And I feel it has money, like like it has money, like because of the uniqueness, is scarf business. I have not seen anyone really into the scarf business. Someone who's just, just selling like the woolen scarves, the satin scarves, the... I haven't seen anyone doing that. Okay. And I feel it's a market. Ladies love this to Vitambas. If you if you guys know, there's this bill called Dupata. It's a very pricey bill. Very, very pricey. No, it's not pricey. It's not pricey. It's like 13. Hey. No. That bill is like 16 Gs. Yeah. That bill is like 16 Gs. And these are Dupatas. Now, Dupatas are normally the chiffons and the satin Vitambas. Yeah. So I feel that that's also a market that is very unique and hasn't been targeted yet and if someone can be able to get like amazing amazing unique decent scuffs i tend to believe that you're gonna sell them so well because you'll stand out in the market you will stand out now another thing that i feel guys are not targeting well is the vivazi viandani vivalio viandani vindani yeah so what do i mean when i say this i mean bras um i'd want to come to your shop and if you're selling bras i'd want to find you with kawaida bras i'd want to find you with sports bras i'd want to find you with corsets i'd want to find you with those mtumba body shapers i'd want to find you with you know i don't want to just come and find you with bras only because be all rounded. Let me know. Not that I have to buy bras pekeake kwako. Alafu sports bra. Nende nitafute na uko kiambu. I'd like to find like bikinis. You know, if you're targeting the bra section, ladies nowadays work out. As in, ladies at jalegezer, at jalegezer, guys are working out. So this sports bras. But there's a bill that has sports bras only. And that bill, yay! That bill has money. Yeah? So I feel also the guys doing the bra section i also not doing it that well as in me i'm all about let's make this money i'm all about let's let's maximize on sales so, so. so yeah that's just that's i didn't have anything much to say on this video hey well that was much that was eight minutes that was much so yeah um tell me you guys on this comment section which other market you feel that has not been targeted that well has not been has not been let me know in the comment section what do you guys think and what do you guys think of this video so yes thank you so much for watching up to this far god bless you guys let's keep taking care of ourselves i will definitely definitely see you on my next video so god bless you guys and i will see you on my next video Bye bye